Hello and welcome back to Yoga with Laura Ashlyn. Today we have a little special uh, session. It shouldn't be uh, too long, but I'd like to introduce to you some of the hand mudras or hand seals that are part of the yoga practice or meditation practice. There are approximately, well, there's over a hundred hand gestures or movements and they all have a particular meaning. Most are uh, sealing the energy in the body because if I just open my hand and out goes the chi, right, of the body out, um, we lose a lot of that uh, energy and that kind of connection and circulation to the brain. So by sealing the hands, we kind of keep the energy close to the body, center of the body. So these are just uh, a few examples. We're going to show you 10 today, and they are simple. Just pick one or two. You can come back and visit this video and just check out one of them and practice that. We often will do a hand seal. Mudra means to seal. Uh, these hand seals are uh, often during meditation when we're sitting down. They can be when you're walking. You can hold your, on a hike or something, you can hold your hands a certain way. Also, when we're doing yoga positions and you have fixed your position and you're set and you're just kind of enjoying it for a while, you can certainly put a little finishing touch to the uh, posture by putting a hand seal on it. A little bit like the period at the end of the sentence, but these are kind of fun and thought they would be interesting to you. Obviously, you can look them up. Uh, on the internet, you can talk to other yoga teachers about these different uh, hand movements, but I'm closer to you so that you can see these hand movements. And uh, I am reading off my notes, and so I have my glasses on because normally when I'm doing yoga out here, I can't see you at all, fairly uh, blind there. So the first one, the very simple one, a basic one, is called Yana Mudra. Now it might be Yani or Yana Mudra, and it is with a G, but the G is silent. G-Y-A-N, Yana Mudra. This is improvement of your memory, your concentration. It also kind of draws a little insight into your life, maybe into your life choices, maybe into a reaction. Also, it is knowledge. So it's self-knowledge, and this is, of course, great for circulation. If I'm sealing this off, rather than having the energy cascade out to the tips of my fingers, I'm keeping it in, recycling it back. So this is a very nice mudra. You can have hands relaxed, fingers. You could flare them out a little straighter if you wish. And it doesn't matter which hand you're using, right or left is fine, depending on the posture too. One hand is holding uh, strength at the mat, the other hand's in the air, maybe that's the one you would seal. So it doesn't matter which uh, one during meditation, sometimes both, use both hands. So this is Yani Mudra, and it is the thumb pad to the index finger. If you have very, very long nails, this will be a little difficult to do. I have pretty stubby little nails, but still the nails might get caught up. So it's really the pad, circle it out, and then relax the fingers. So Yani Mudra here, the second one is thumb and pinky. This becomes the Buddha motion. This is mental clarity and also improves communication. Thumb to pinky. Buddha or Buddha. It's not an A, it's B-U-D-D-H-I. This is another one. Remember, there's lots. The next one is Shuni. Shuni is the thumb and the middle finger. So we're pressing here the pad of the thumb with pretty much, not the pad, not the first digit, but the second bone, I should say, of the uh, finger bones. So this, fingers can be straight down, fingers can be up. This is also uh, to be alert this is intuition, shuni, S-H-U-N-I, shuni mudra. 
and the next one is thumb to the ring finger and the pinky. So, I'm sorry, I was a Girl Scout or a brownie or something, and it looks a little bit like that salute, but this is prana, and prana is energy, of course, and all energy. There's breath energy, there's life energy, there's animal energy, and so on. So, this particular uh, position of the fingers, and again, I'm pressing the thumb across the pinky, that little plate of that second bone, and the second bone here on the ring finger, this is prana. This activates any dormant energy, awakens, alivens. This is your personal prana. Again, getting them together. Here, two fingers straight ahead. Or maybe you're in a position such as a warrior one or the triangle and that uh, floating arm is taking the prana hand seal up to the sky. Okay. The next one is Dhyana. Dhyana is a meditation mudra. It's the one I use a lot without even thinking about it. It is the uh, right hand is on top and the left hand is underneath. This is meditation mudra. And then I just touch the tips of the thumbs together. Every once in a while I look down and I might have a thumb on top, but I, I like the pressing of the tips. One of the things about the hole that's being made by your uh, Dhyana Mudra, Meditation Mudra, is it just keeps the energy basically circulating uh, through the hole that the hand is making. This can be held gently in the lap, elbows at your sides, nice and relaxed. Dhyana Mudra. The next one is Surya. Now, earlier we did a video of Surya Namaskar, Surya's sun or solar. So this increases the heat, and this is thumb to ring finger, and again I'm going back and forth. This is Surya Mudra. This increases the heat in your body, the fire. This brings your metabolism up. This helps with digestion, if you have any kind of uh, digestion issues. This can help you. This also um, has to do with heaviness. If you feel heavy and bloaty, this is a wonderful mudra, Surya mudra. Also, this can ward off colds. Now, I don't profess to be a soothsayer and give you things, but why not try? Right? If this is thousands of years old, this has gone through a lot of practice and a lot of reactions into uh, the human body over the many years. So even if you go, hmm, colds, hmm, reduces fat, increases metabolism, and so on, builds heat, uh, why not at least try it? So here we go with Surya Mudra. Thumb pad, again, over the second bone, ring finger pressing, creating a seal. And the last four is apana. Now, there's apanasana, which looks like baby posture. That's a digestive. It means, literally means downward wind or downward air. And often people will uh, pass gas or quaff or get the air out of the body. So, apana mudra, also uh, eliminates waste, aids in digestion, and the thumb here meets the ring in the middle finger. So that becomes, just checking my notes here, it's a lot to remember, this becomes apana, pressing here. I personally feel better when I do this apana mudra that the hands aren't relaxed. Sometimes you can relax the fingers, but I kind of like them open. What that does is that kind of contracts the muscles in my hands, tightens them up, which allows my thumb to do a little bit more of a pressure here, and I feel stimulated in the wrist area. So if I'm just hanging and I have that, kind of looks a little like a bug, right, little antennas, but I open them and reach them. See, right away you could see my thumb come pressing down. This is one of the favorites that I use. I just 
go to it without even thinking about it. Digestion, elimination issues, a Pana Mudra. The next one is Ganesha. Now Ganesh is uh, in the uh, myth of folklore of the Indian culture is the remover of obstacles. And he is half human, half elephant head. But the Ganesh Mudra is done two ways. You'll take your left hand and place it at your heart, pinky down. And then you'll take the right hand inside that left palm, pinky up, and then you're gonna hold the fingers and close the thumbs. Now watch if you have nails that you're not digging into yourself. But this is done with breath, it's awesome. What we're going to do is we're going to inhale. As you exhale, you gently pull apart, put some force in this link. Let's say this was the link in a chain. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And continuing that kind of opposing force energy away from the medial part of the body going distal. So this is Ganesha. This one relieves obstructions in your life, regains any positivity, brings you courage. And this is also energy to the heart center. As I exhale and pull it apart, I'm doing a very physical piece here, which is I'm tightening the uh, pectoral muscles and I'm I'm kind of working into the range of heart center, and it might even strengthen the muscle of the heart a little bit. Now you can certainly do as many breaths as you wish. Uh, six breaths is great. Now that's inhale, exhale, one breath. Inhale, exhale, second breath, and so on. Remember the exhale is the pulling apart. And then what you can do is you can just switch. So I just went in the opposite direction. That will also uh, change some of the muscles in the back and the shoulder and neck by switching hands. So again, opposite, inhale, exhale, and having that gentle pulling apart of the uh, hand. Watch the digits if you have arthritis or any kind of inflammation in the joints. Be very careful there. So that was Ganesh Mudra. The next one is Vayu. This is for gas pain, flatulence, bloating. Awesome. <laughs> same as really uh, Apana. It's the same uh, digestive issues. So we're creating circulation by sealing our hands. And by doing that, creating uh, maybe a little bit more stimulation of our blood cycle, that that's what's creating the digestive flow. Uh, to evacuate from our body and so on. So this is Vayu. Index finger, middle finger, and thumb meets both. This is a little trickier. There it is. Index finger, middle finger, thumb reaches over the top, pressing down, nice long fingers here, facing straight up. This is Vayu. Mudra. Great for flatulence, the passing of gas, elimination, digestion, joint pain. Why not try it? Even if it's for 30 seconds or a minute, try if one that's favorite that your fingers happen to go to. Vaya Mudra. And our last one, this is just 10. There's apparently a billion. Uh, a little more than a hundred. So this is Rudra Mudra. And this is personal power center, solar plex, and a wonderful for dizziness. Ooh, I have to apologize. Vayu. Let's go back to Vayu. Thumb to index and middle joint. Thumb to the index 
and the middle. There's Bayou. I'm sorry. We got that one turned around. The next one, Rudra Mudra, is this kind of difficult one where you're bringing both fingers together, tips of the finger, there we go. So I apologize. Well, it's a good thing that it's YouTube and you can back it up and watch it again. Rudra Mudra. This is power your center. This helps with dizziness. I work with a lot of people that have vertigo and or just a little nauseous or just motion sickness. And this will help anyone that has any kind of dizziness issues, try it and see when you're maybe coming into a dizzy area, you're bringing in your ring finger, your index finger, and holding with thumb. Index, ring, thumb. Rudra, mudra. This is one of the most common. This is yana mudra. Meditation. So that was our hand seals today, or hand mudras, and I hope you enjoyed it. Please uh, revisit this again and maybe practice one at a time and just see what one feels comfortable for you if you want to put it into your practice. Namaste.